And it is Jalen Slauson. Now, if people who play fantasy basketball, listen to the show and dynasty fantasy basketball, this guy's statistical translations are unbelievable. It's almost two blocks and two steals per 36 minutes. It's 18 points. He rebounds. He gets assists. He hit 39% from three. Big field goal percentage. Good free throw percentage. Everything there looks, wow, this is a potential unbelievable fantasy play if you just look at the numbers. But he did it playing for Furman. He's 23 already. He's obviously, I think he played five years in college. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he played yeah, yeah, five years. It was a starter. The last two, full-time starter the last, oh no, he's started for four years, but played like over 30 minutes the last two years. But always always been this big steals and blocks guy. And he, amazingly, through his career, 1.2 steals, 1.2 steals, 1.7 steals. Oh, sorry, 1.2 steals, 1.2 blocks. 1.7 steals, 1.7 blocks. 1.5 steals, 1.5 blocks. <laughs> the exact same number of steals and blocks basically every single season. Like, it's it's actually uncanny. Thirty uh, totals, thirty one steals, thirty blocks, fifty eight steals, fifty eight blocks, fifty five steals, fifty five blocks. I never seen symmetry like that. So everything about it, statistic wise, looks like wow, this is unbelievable. Like this guy is what a yeah. what a prospect. Look at this upside. But why isn't he? Or not why isn't he? But what what do we? How do we temper that down? Uh, well, the first thing for me, and, and I hate to single this guy out, former Bull. I don't think he's a bad guy, but it's I'm, I kind of refer to it as the Chandler Hutchison rule. Okay. Where if a guy is older and is like a low 30 shooter until his senior year, I'm always a little wary of that. And as uh, it should be. And then it's just the, the level of competition is not super high. He played well in the tournament. Like he played really well against Virginia. But I, I think it is just the age, and it's more just like best case it is just like kenrich williams and like i love kenrich williams but you're not taking that guy top you know top 35 even not 40 but i'm a big i'm a huge slosson fan he always pops up in in our all bar terrific searches and i'm 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 always just a fan of a guy like a small school kind of small ish because he's like a four for them yep but i think he could just he's just a general wing in the nba like i don't think there's really position but i'm a fan of weirdos of guys who have like why does this guy have so, so, such a high assist rate for like a uh, like a big man? Uh, you know, Tosan uh, Eboam, the, the uh, Princeton guys like that too, where it's like, I don't know if he's an NBA player, but he averaged like eight assists a game as like a six, seven center. It's like Kylo Quinn's a good example of that kind of player of like, this guy's weird. Like I, I don't, I, there's no like obvious archetype he fits into. So it's more just like, I, I want to see what he is. I'll, t- I'll take him. I, def- I definitely draft him. There's no doubt in my mind. I like your Kenrich Williams comparison here. Just a guy that... Mm-hmm defense, passes, need him to shoot. I will work on it. We'll see what happens. And I think Kenridge shot 40% from three this season after struggling you know, at 20% for a couple of years early in his career. But just, you want him to play center? Sure, you want him to go guard wings? No worries, I'll do it. And that's really yeah. valuable. Like It's not going to blow people away in terms of, you know, you're not taking him super high. But that player, if it pans out that way, Kenridge Williams is a guy that every player and every team in the NBA should want. And if yeah. Lawson turns into that sort of player, that's awesome. And, and the stats show that like, there is contributions right across the board that could come from him. Like, yes, the age is is a factor, but oh, I have no problem drafting him in the second round either. Like, all of these numbers no. look unbelievably strong. And it's always a good way to start is to have that baseline of producing, not needing to be the number one guy, not needing to have everything run uh, around you of like, well, I've got to do every single, every single scoring possession's got to be me. Like, I can pass, I can just do everything. And lead a team to a strong performance in the yeah. tournament. Um, it's all it's all really positive to me. So yeah, I love him as a second round player, as fantasy guys. The other, oh, go ahead. The other players I think he does sort of compare to, like I think if he really works out, is like a, the Martin twins, either one. Yep. Just like competent. Like the guy helps, he can play in a rotation. Yep. You just you always want he doesn't him, need that. You always want him out there like, hey, do you, can you play 30 minutes? Sure. You're gonna go down to 18, no worries. Can you shoot? Can you defend? Can you do can you pass? Can you just do multiple different things? Like that's it's really useful to have those guys. They don't they don't sell jerseys, they don't get you excited, but they help you win. And those sort of players, like unearthing that guy is, is really important. Do you see him as a guy like you're high on him as a second round pick? Is he a guy that you think will probably end up as a as a two way sort of a player or more of a like you know, a two year with non guarantee sort of a, a full contract player? I've heard reasonable. It really depends on what he and his agent want. Yep. Because the thing, a lot of the two way guys, especially like the the first guy, the guys who were signed like the night of the draft, they just didn't want to take a second round contract. That's really what it is. Like. Yep. They decided against it, um, but I've I've heard enough from the limited sources I have that I think teams are. This is a big wing draft, and I feel like the thing the thing is it's not a 
a 58 wing draft. So at some point, someone in the second round is going to want a bench wing and like they might take it. I can see it. He's really.